I'm Gwyneth and I'm going to be showing you how to draw this picture from the book. So first you are going to start off by drawing the outline of the teeth, also the bed. So by doing that, you are going to go from the mid quarter of your page and you are just going to draw loops or bumps, five of them, like so, going in a line but slanted. Next, you are going to make a similar shape with your pencil and make sure when you are doing this line, you are gradually pointing it up so it is in the shape of a U kind of. Next, you are going to draw a line extending from the place where you first drew your loop and you are going to make it like this and then extend it all the way to the top of the page like that. And you can go back in and make sure to connect the end of these with the line because these are going to look like teeth when we are finished so we want to make sure it's connecting to the gum. We are going to fill in these holes that you made when you were drawing your line so if you didn't make bumps in your line at first go back and do that now. But we are going to start drawing in the teeth like this. You are just going to connect Oh. Okay, now to fill in the teeth, I already filled it out so you guys can see what the finished product will look like, but I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. So you're going to take your pencil and you're going to make a curved shape and extend it so it doesn't fully, so it doesn't go back up to the end of the bump. And then starting from the end of the first bump, you're going to take another curve line and go to the, just make a, like a little curve. And then from the end of the second bump, you are just going to make the same type of movement. End of the third bump. And so just keep doing that until all of your bumps are filled to the very end. Make sure there are no gaps in between the teeth. So that's why this, the way I showed you is the way you should do it. Okay, next we are going to draw the bed inside of the mouth. So you're just going to draw kind of a wavy line acting as the bed sheets in the middle of your teeth. Next, we are going to draw the head of the tooth fairy sleeping. So you are just going to make a half circle type shape just in the center of the line. And next we are going to draw her curly hair. So you honestly can draw this any way you would like, but I'm just going to draw little squiggly lines uh, extending from either side of her head and just kind of making it look messy and like her hair. Then we are going to draw her eyes and this part is very simple. You are just going to draw two upside down U or U like shapes but a little bit wider. And so then once you have the two eyes you are just going to draw little lines extending from them acting as her eyelashes. Then you are just going to draw her nose, and it's kind of like the pirate we drew in the last video. You are just going to make a oval shape just extending from the middle of her face. Next, we are going to draw the pillows behind her. So basically, you're just going to go from the middle of your first tooth, but on this line, and you are just going to make a curvy shape in the shape of a pillow. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that looks like, and that's that. And I just realized we forgot to close off the bed, so you are just going to make a round shape like that. Now we are going to draw the little shapes that are on her comforter, and we are going to draw stars, moons, and little squirrels. Okay, now we are going to draw the shapes on her comforter. Um, so you're just going to draw stars. You can put, honestly, as many as you would like. On hers, there's only two stars. So I'm just going to replicate that and I'm just going to draw, actually I'm going to draw a couple more because our comforter is a little bit bigger than hers, but try to make it spread out so they are not all in the same place. Like so. Then we can just draw a couple moons like this. So you're just going to make a curve and then, or kind of like a C, and then you're just going to outline that with pointy ends. And I'm going to put another one in this corner. And then we're just going to make some swirls just to add a little more. So I think everyone knows how to make a swirl and you can put them again anywhere you would like, but I'm just choosing to put mine 
over here. And finally, you are welcome to color in anything you would like. Um, I'm not going to, but if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe.